So you had a radio? But I mean, it was, it, we were, well, I guess I was thinking more of the family, family that was, we were never neglected with, for anything. Mm -hmm. Having a farm, we always had food during the, the Depression. I didn't even know there was one. I never knew such a thing. But we had chickens, we had pork, we had beef, and wheat and stuff like that. Corn. Do you remember during the Depression was, you know, they had the Great Dust Bowl and things like that? Do you remember no. it being dry at all? No. So Read about in school. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you said you, you also had electricity. Yeah, sooner than that. Not all of our days, early days we didn't, but it came in fairly soon with the electricity. You had one cord hanging in the, in the room. You remember them putting the electricity in? Oh yeah, the neighbor man that did, and the electrician. You came through and put a knob and two wiring in? One, one hanging bulb. Uh -huh. You had the knot of holes in the wall? Came down from the ceiling, I think. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. nope, and then they, how did they string the power out there? Did he do that oh, too? Or the power uh, company my dad out? didn't know. The other man did. Uh -huh. So what sorts of things did you have after you got electricity? You had bulbs. Electric lights. Eventually, had a radio. Yeah, we always had a nice car. What kind of car did you have? Mostly Fords. And then it, Grandpa had a Buick. What was the Buick like? Oh, it was nice, big four. Four wheel. Well, naturally, the four wheel. <laughs> So this would have been what era? A twenties Buick, thirties Buick? Oh, I was pretty small. Mm -hmm. I don't know that. So probably mid twenties Buick. Remind me what year you were born. Nineteen eighteen. Nineteen eighteen. Okay, so if you were small, you might yeah. have been eight. So probably a mid twenties. Yeah, nineteen twenty-eight. Nineteen twenty. Your dad had Fords, so they were always black? Every, mm -hmm. mostly. Mm -hmm. They didn't have much in color with them. The one with the side curtains on, you know, the open, in the summertime it was open, in the wintertime you put curtains, snap curtains hmm. on the car. Was it big enough everybody could get in? Oh no, not all of us. It was big enough for six people. Do I remember you uh, told me a story about having to get out and push up a hill? Well, going into a clear there was a sandy hill that we got out and walked up. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but my dad got a new car every other year, every two years. He traded in They'd bring the, the salesman would bring the car out to the house and we'd all go for a ride, as many as we could get in. <laughs> Take us for a ride after supper. Oh wow. That was a big thrill. So it was brand new? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Did he, so you got a car, you didn't get a truck? Oh, they had a truck too, farm okay. truck. They have tractor. I imagine, yeah, I'm sure they have tractors. Okay. But I remember the cultivating and stuff. A lot of things they did by hand. Walk behind. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Christmas. We're coming up on Christmas here. What sort of, what was a Christmas like at the farm? 
Well, we never had the Christmas tree up until till Christmas Eve. And Grandpa, I remember seeing Grandpa. We had a big woods that bordered the farm, the creek, uh, creek and hill, the forest, mm -hmm. regular forest. And, uh, so Grandpa would go down with a lantern. I could see him walking down into the woods, cut the Christmas tree. And uh, we we had to think that that was Santa Claus down there cutting that tree. <laughs> What sort of ornaments did you have? Well, pretty much like those balls that we have now, the little pretty ones. Mm -hmm. Round we glass balls. tinsel, hanging tinsel. Then we made the rings, the colored paper. We cut rings and hook it into the next one, hook it into the next one. Mm -hmm. Some families had a tradition of finding a, hiding a pickle in the tree. Yeah, that's uh, Polish people. Polish people. Jer Jerry introduced that to our house. So you didn't have a tradition like that? No. no. Tell me about Christmas presents. What sorts of things did you get for Christmas? Not much. There's a lot to buy at Christmas for nine people. Yeah.
But it wasn't called Stout back then. Yeah. What was it called? It was a normal school? No, well, that was way back with my dad. But we're not on that now. Right. Which dorm did you stand? Well, the Stout dorm. The only dorms there were. The only dorms there were in the city. Mm hmm. Were they near the school? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Did you have a roommate? Yeah. yeah. Who was your roommate? Oh, I don't think that's even important. <laughs> well, I want to find out, did you have any good friends there? Well, sure, we were all good friends, my goodness. We had lots of friends. Yeah. There's one that I still keep in contact with. Remember her name? Isabel Schlosser. Mm -hmm. Isabel O'Meara before she was married. So, how far was that school from your home? About 10 miles. Mm -hmm. I remember you told me a story once, you got a ride home with some scary people in the car. You said they were scary because they switched drivers while, you, while they were still driving. They didn't stop the car. Oh, that, yeah, that was a couple, I don't remember who it was. Yeah, they did. She got up over it and slid down behind me. Not me, her husband. <laughs> but I mean, that's not major for autobiography. Oh, that's funny. So that was on the way back from school? From some place, I don't remember where from. Hmm. Okay. So, how long did you go to school? Four years. What sorts of things did you study? Well, uh, the, the same things were there, the, the uh, English and science and all of that was still, still teaching there. Sewing, nutrition, stuff like that. Hmm. I remember you told me you did the science experiment where you analyzed um, microbes. You looked at bacteria, you took a swab or something from doorknobs and... Oh yeah, you could do that today if you had your petri dishes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did that for one of our science classes. Do you remember what things you analyzed? Well, like you say, the doorknob, your hands, your books, or maybe uh, silverware, or most anything that you wondered about. Mm -hmm. What did you find was the dirtiest? Doorknobs, hmm. toilet doors. Hmm. Most most doorknobs, so. mm -hmm. no matter where they went. <laughs> now I remember that you said uh, once you told me you had some duties while you were at, in the dormitory. It wasn't a dorm where you go and study. You had to do a little extra in the dorm, meaning that you had to take care of the table, or you had to... Well, we took turns being the hostess, if, if that's what you mean. Yeah. We took turns of setting it up and serving. Waitress, we took our turns. So how many girls were in the dorm then? Oh, 30, uh, boys too. Oh, it was a co-ed dorm back then? Yeah. Oh, how progressive. Yeah, they were in their own dorms. They weren't in our dorms. Oh, so the boys, but you yeah. happened to share a Yeah, they, they had, uh, um, what, do you, what do you call it? They did woodwork and stuff like that. Shop. 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 Did you think about dating any of the guys there? Oh, I did, yeah. Tell me about that. We just went to school dance and stuff. We bought all there was to do. Mm -hmm. But uh, we were just like a group, same as here, a group of kids together. And it's 
sort of, sort of at Dee Dee, but just might dance with him more than the other one. Mm-hmm. But, but, well, I didn't have time much for that, because we, we had to be in in the dorm by nine. Yeah. So we, the only thing we went to was school functions. That's about all we did. What kind of music would they have had back at those dances? I don't, I don't remember. Did they have a live band, or did they have oh, a they had a school band, yeah. Okay. Whatever was dance music at the time. Yeah. So you were a waitress at the um, for serving people in the, for food. Well, we just the girls at the dorm took turns, mm-hmm. uh, but I wasn't necessarily a waitress. So the girls in the dorm they served only the girls, or did they serve both the girls and the boys? They served just the girls. The boys had their own dorm. Okay. And uh, what sorts of things did you serve? Did you have a fancy dinner on Saturday night, for example? Probably a fancier dinner, maybe nicer on Sunday. But we always always had good meals. That was the school teach food and nutrition. Mm-hmm. It should be good. Yeah, very good food. Fresh milk, juice. Did they make a lunch, or was it only dinner? They made dinner at uh, Sunday dinner, one and then the rest. So what did you do during uh, your summers? Did you have school? I guess you didn't have college during the summer. Did you get a summer job? Well, I think I went to summer school one year. I think it was, uh, yeah, I went to one year. And um, then I was home one summer and then I worked the rest of the summer. Like at that old hotel I worked at. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you, was there anything that you uh, bought with your money while you were working? Or did you mostly save it up and use it for school? A little beach. I, I bought my clothes. Bought it and clothes that I needed. So it wasn't, uh, I don't know, I think it was 10 or 15 dollars. I don't remember what the month it was. I didn't get much pay. But things were less expensive yeah. back then, too, yeah. so you could buy a lot with 10 yeah. or 15 dollars. So now, um, you met Grandpa at some point. Did you meet him after college, or? I met him, oh yeah, I was out, te- I was out teaching at Grantsburg. And, uh, uh, we, we met at a dance. Well, really, uh, um, Will's brother introduced us, really. Kind Which of brother? Howard. How did you know Howard? Because I lived across the street from his parents where he lived. He's younger than he's younger than Will. So Grandpa Willis had already moved out of the house. Yes, yeah, right. What was he doing? He was in radio repair in uh, around uh, Minneapolis in Minnesota. So if he was working in Minneapolis, what was he doing in Grantsburg? That's what I said his brother said you got to meet him. Oh. He could come home on the weekend. Oh. And then we'd go to the dances then. Did Grandpa have his own car? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he was self sufficient for at a young age. How old was he then? And how old were you then? Oh no. Early twenties? Yeah, I, well, I would have to be 21, 22, so about 22 probably. Mm-hmm. What were you teaching in Grantsburg? Oh, man. 
So it was a big enough school that you could teach your own subject, you didn't teach everything? No, just for my yeah. Was it a high school or grade school? I high school. Yeah. Did you have your own car? Yeah. What kind of car was it? It was a, it was a Ford. I think it had only two seats, I don't think. It was a smaller car. Eight hundred dollars for it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was brand new? No. Oh no. And then the next year uh, I had been there only a couple of years when I bought a fur coat, typewriter, sewing machine. or was this more of a a frou frou item back then? Uh, both, I would say. It was a nice yeah. nice version it, of a standard coat. Quite a, quite a thing. There, there were the girls were doing that. They were buying. Mm -hmm. What was the first thing you sewed with your sewing machine? Probably repair. <laughs> Probably repaired some clothes, I don't know. Yeah. Later on, then I sewed my dresses. Mm hmm. Okay. So tell me about the dance where you met Grandpa. It was a community hall, like uh, town hall. Oh, it was on the fairgrounds. So during the fair, then they'd always have dances at night. Mm -hmm. Did you dance with anyone else that night? Oh yeah, a whole bunch of us went together. Yeah, a whole bunch of who? Well, girls. Girls and boys. So friends you knew from the school in yeah, Graysburg? Yeah, you know, in a small town you know everybody then. Yeah. Did anyone else meet their future husband at that dance? Yeah, uh, uh, my girlfriend, a local boy, and uh, we kept in contact all these years. You remember their names? Lois Swanberg and Marilyn Swanberg. The names don't mean anything to people, to my relatives, they wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't know them. What sort of music did they play at that dance? Focus, probably, I don't know. I don't remember. So they had live music? Yeah, oh yeah. They'd have a band. Yeah. How was it decorated? Well, town halls never decorated. Okay. Just a, just a plain hall. Did they have some food or drink there? I suppose, I don't remember that. None of our group drank. It was that kind of drinking. So there's probably good lemonade there. I don't think there was probably anything. <laughs> Some water. Yeah, water, yeah. Okay. Do you remember anything else about that fair? Were, were there any games? Was there a Ferris wheel? We didn't go out into there. I don't know. The regular Ferris wheel probably was the biggest thing, probably. Hmm. Okay. So what do you, you remember about Grandpa? What struck you about Grandpa? He was... He was clean looking. Very, very clean person. He had a new suit. And uh, 
What did you do after that night? How did you stay in touch with each other? If he was in Minneapolis... Came home every week and then finally he moved home. He set up a, a store, a radio shop there. Why did he move home? Well, because there was an opportunity to buy that little building and then he also had the job of, of running the movies at night at the theater. Mm -hmm. So he had a good opportunity to do that. About what year would this have been? Around 1942. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Anything else you want to remember about your dating? Nothing much different than Yeah. Norm's obituary. I wonder what all this writing is. 